Jason for that weekly Citadel update. It's Tuesday and well it just passed 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time so here we go. Just go to your Citadel, click this little map thing here and you're going to want to go to buildings. Now this week we'll be upgrading the Citadel itself which is going to cost this much. You can also upgrade the battlefield, fire making, and the furnace. So let's start off by doing these. Furnace, we're going to upgrade. The kiln, we're going to upgrade. Now the third thing you want to do is the citadel itself. Storehouse we can't do this week because the citadel needs to be upgraded one more tier. So once this is tier 4, then next week we can start working on storehouse tier 4. Battlefield though, you can upgrade this week. So there you go. Once you're done with picking your upgrades for your buildings, you want to hop over to this here, which is resources, and set your goals. The upkeep for 220, upgrades 18750. That total comes to 22970. For stone, you want the upkeep, which is 3540, and upgrades 17100. Total comes to 20,640 of the stone. The last thing you need for upgrades is 45 upkeep and 15150 upgrades. Total 15195 of metal bars. You will need to gather charcoal and the metal ores to be able to make the bars. So these are mandatory. We'll just leave that blank for now because I confuse people if you set goals for these. They'll be trying to meet these and not going for the actual goals that we need. Since your timber is primary, since nobody likes woodcutting, that will be the primary goal that shows up when they log in. Primary goal, woodcut tier 3. As you see, mining spot tier 3, which gives the ore and gives a stone down here. You also have tier 2 kiln and tier 2 furnace. And that there shows the total that you need and how much you have so far. How much you have, how much you need. Same thing as woodcut, how much you have, how much you need. And remember you can teleport around the map by using this here. Woodcut spot, mining spot, furnace, and fire making kiln. All four of these will be needed to get your resources for next week. Good luck guys, and I'm um, just going to do a summary here of the clans that are allied with us right now. When people come into your citadel, the first thing they see is a signpost next to the guard gate after they enter the portal. This signpost will load up, as you will see here, and it will show all the primary clans you have added as allies or enemies or neutral. And anytime it wants to load here, I can start describing these. Now, you can see the details. It says Catherby is friendly with Invalid Meow, which is Amber Meow's clan chat. There's Clantastic, which is set as ally because they're neutral with us. There's this one here. Friends with uh, Excel's clan, which is WGD Vids. These two clans are actually on our Ventrilo with us, so we use their Ventrilo. We're friends with them. We're also allied with these new clans lately from uh, the past week ago or two. It's Ice Demons and Raffle Choppers. Well, Raffle Choppa. As you can see the name here, it's also allied. And we're still enemies with the uh, nice old rifle Zezima and his Zezima clan that he formed lately within the past year. Um, as you can see, it's marked as Nemesis because we still hate the shit out of him. But um, we kind of keep our distance, so there's not really that much problems with him right now. And uh, so yeah, if you ever want to visit one of these clans, you just click on them, go to details, and click teleport, and it visits their citadel. And you see who's there and who's active and everything like that. If they allow guests, of course. And if you're a guest in a citadel, you cannot use the teleports. You can only teleport in your own citadel. So I have to walk around and actually like observe, see if anybody's here right now. Let's see, nobody's here, no doubt's there. Well, that's kind of empty on the first day. Hmm, strange. So, yeah. I don't think anyone's here right now. Let's remind spot, see how they're doing. Let's go around observing. Oh no, they didn't meet the upgrade requirements. They got stone, they don't have gems. Oh, all they need is freaking metal ore. Damn it. They can't smith yet. That's not good. 
Oh well, they at least can catch up on this week, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, it used to be they couldn't access from Gust. Now I guess they changed it so Gust can get in. Let's see what's going on here. So their allies list is here. As you can see, the colors of the guards in the town, it's all the same colors to match the flag. Or whatever you said it. Oh, nice. So as you can see, they got us as allies. Sis Clan, World 60 Penguins, that's pretty popular. Odyssey, hmm. Yeah, they got Nith to neutral. This Odyssey is actually a clan that split off of Clantastic, which Clantastic split off of Cathary. So it's kind of nice to see, you know, that they're linked together. So they don't visit in between, stuff like that. Keep tapping each other. I'm not sure who this is, though. That's friend there, and that's friend there. Hmm. Might check out that clan next down to list, maybe. Since they are part of the uh, World 9 group, which is like about five or six clan chats, if any are still alive. There's like two or three that I know if it's still up. Well, maybe four. Oh, nice, nice. So Clantastic has kept on top of the game. They actually got what they need here. Oh? Oh, nice. Did they change their build cycle, maybe? Maybe they changed their build cycle, because showing they have all their resources still from last week. And the week just begun, there's no way possible they could have had this many resources already. So it has to be a different build cycle than ours. Mm -hmm. Their build cycle also seems... Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Yeah, their build cycle seems also a, uh, delayed. Hmm, they got a slightly different setup than ours, too. Their teleport seems like it's to the southwest. Oh, it's not built. Oh, damn. No, they're a little bit behind. They just got woodcut mining so far. I guess next week they'll upgrade to, uh, smite fire making, and then the week after that, smithing. So yeah, they only got the, uh, basic stone and wood right now. As you can see. Oh. Damn. I guess this means their citadel kind of fell behind and dead grass everywhere. It's all crumbling. Guards are in rags. Nine wear full armor. Well, let's see what they got going on here. Let me cut tier two. Mine tier two. I don't have anything else but woodcut and mining. Oh, so that's what happens when your citadel starts depleting. There's, like, dead everywhere. Damn. Oh, well, I guess they open up two guests now. Hmm. I'm actually wondering who they have listed here that shows it. Hmm. So it's public listed. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Friendly. So they got four friends. That's Zesma's clan. The official clan of Zesma, the number one player in Keep, in case you guys don't know. Yeah, he's a uh, arch rival of ours. Let's actually see what they're... Oh, we can't view their Citadel settings. That is strange. This is the first Citadel you cannot view what resources they have on them. Hmm. Very strange. Well, they got fire making got it tears to be tier two would cut oh well that's kind of weird maybe they have something else up tier three let's find out there should be the mine spot here if they did fall in by our suit yes they did ah oh, they got tier three money at least which tier three has the metal ore and the stone hmm actually no members on this time of day and they got their smith things, so they're good, they're set. Just I don't know why they're behind the timber, though. The timber should have been tier 3 by now. Now just checking around and seeing what we got here. Tier 2 woodcut. Uh, it looks like their resource... Did it carry over or what? Let's find out. I believe their build cycle is different than ours, because they still got a lot of resource. Tier 2 of that. Aw, oh, man. They got no kiln, no furnace yet. Okay, well. So they're kind of behind on their builds. Let's see what allies we got here. Ah, nice. We are listed. Well, that's kind of cool. Hey! <laughs> I did not notice until just now. Amber and I have the same icon, which I use the compass as an NGR logo for my website. It's friendly with them and friendly with us. Nice. Well, I'll go back to mine now. Hmm. 
No matter where you are in Roostgate, take your clan's Vexilum, weld it, right click it, and teleport. Click yes. And teleport you right to the Citadel portal. So you can go up here and you can go to your Citadel or you can visit us. Just type in Catherine, just like the town name, enter, and you're at our Citadel. Just find us here. We're usually on every Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, before the first two days of the week, we usually max out. So the rest of the week, we're not really here. It's just the stragglers that try and get the rank up for a max out resource, which is 1,400 this week for next rank up for anybody in this chat here. And with the friend chat, we still rank based on 99s. So post that W9HQ forum thread if you want to rank in a friend chat. And clan chat, just hit us up and let us know when you max out your resource for the week. Alright guys, that just about wraps it up for this week's Citadel update. I'll uh, see you guys on next Tuesday's video. And uh, if you're looking to get listed on our signpost, join the friend chat, Catherby, or the clan chat, Catherby. And uh, just talk to one of our ranks here, or you can get a hold of me. I'm usually online every single day after work. And we got three spots open. We'll be clearing up the list later and like changing it around, swapping out here and there. So if your clan is active and your Citadel is actually up to date and not crumbling behind, starting to fall off there, um, we will list you on our list here. And we also possibly give you a listing on our YouTube channel, which is World Famous Kyrie 667, until uh, I get my main channel back up again. So yeah. Just hit me up on YouTube, and uh, I'll see you guys next week with the next guy at Citadel, Tuesday as usual.